Okay. Hi guys on the Open Infrastructure Summit. Uh, welcome to join us in this session. How are you today? This is Yun Tong from Alibaba Cloud. Uh, I have attended many of the Open Stack and the Open Infrastructure Summit before, but uh, this is like the first time the summit is on virtual. Thanks for the foundation to make this happen in this uh, very difficult and uh, special time. Uh, I'm honored to be here with my colleague, Tian Liang and Hong Jia to present this topic towards Enclave as a container with Enclave containers and Oklam. We will start with talk about the current status and the challenges of the security with container and then introduce a new open source project in cloud containers and how this project will help address the security of container. And then Hong Liang will talk about Oclam and how to use Oclam in Enclave to achieve Enclave as a container solution. Finally, we will have a demo from Tian Jia will show the Enclave as a container solution works. We are in the cloud, uh, cloud computing era. As the cloud computing moving fast and more and more key service and uh, high value data are moving into cloud from on premises to public and to, to edge. The security of data in the cloud has become a real challenge. Security is the top one challenge when deploy containers as well as ensuring the security of data. To have a better security of container, there are many open source projects in the industry. I believe that uh, many of you know Kata Container Project. It's also an OpenStack Foundation project. Kata Container built a security container runtime with a lightweight virtual machine to have a stronger Workload isolation as a second layer of defense. It has the speed of container and uh, the security of virtual machine. Kata container is a very successful project and uh, it's been used widely by many of our end users. Gvisor is another project with another method to improve the isolation of containers. By providing each container with its own application kernel, Gvisor limits the attack service of the host and the other containers. Gvisor runs a modified binary and integrated with container orchestration ecosystem such as Docker and Kubernetes. Well, there are many other project, open source projects. We don't need to go through each of them. But we get a general idea. The security of content, the secure container is all about isolation. It assumes that the workload in the secure container is untrusted and then enhance the isolation by either virtual machine or a separate kernel, which will protect other applications in other containers especially under multi tenants in the cloud. But when it comes to how to protect the sensitive or high value data in the container, it's a very different requirement. Well, the workload is uh, trusted. And the uh, confidential container is to protect that the trust application cannot be steered and uh, subtracted by malicious application and protect high value and sensitive data. So what is computation containers and how it can protect the data in container? We know that the, the data has three status throughout its life cycle. At rest, which data is static in transit which data is in transmitting, and in use, which data is in calculation. To protect the security of data at rest or in transit can be relatively easy. Encrypt the files or encrypt the entire storage 
can protect data at rest. Data in transit means the data move, move, is moving from one place to another place through the public or private network. User can encrypt files before transmission or use a security transmission protocol such as HTTPS, SSL, TLS. However, data in the user state has not been protected very well for a very long time until the emer emergency of computational computing. Computational computing at the CCC status is protect data in use by performing computation in a hardware-based trusted execution environment, which we call TEE. This security and isolated environment prevent an a solarized as access or modification of a application and data while in use, therefore increasing the security assurance of sensitive data. The security and isolated environment to used to run the trust application is called enclave. The enclave of uh, the core function of confidential computing is to protect the confidentiality, integrity, and the security of data in use. Now, what is the enclave? Enclave, in general, means a territory that is entirely surrounded by the territory of one other state, which means there's no way that the other state can visit an enclave by illegal method. How the enclave works? Let's take an uh, Intel SGX TE, for example. An application is separate in two parts, a security one and a non-security one. The application launches the enclave, which is placed in a protected memory. When the enclave function is called, only the code within the enclave can see it is data. External access are always denied. When it returns, enclave data stays in the protected memory. To build an enclave rely on the trust execution environment in hardware, each platform may have different TE solution. For example, Intel has SGX on Scalic platform, ARM has Trust Resume, AMD has SAP TE solution. Well, confidential computing have many use cases, such as blockchain, key management, financial, AI, multi-party calculation, data leads, edge computing. Take a multi-party calculation, for example. Different users or vendors share their data with each other in order to calculation together. But they don't want to disclose their own data to each other. Confidential computing can protect the shared data running in the TEE and the data is encrypted in memory to ensure that the data will not be leaked and shared by each other. Confidential computing is going to be a key technology to help customers move their critical workload with sensitive data to the cloud. And in cloud containers, is aimed to bring the confidential computing into cloud into container ecosystem and simplify the deployment, deliver, and management of trust application. In cloud container is an open source project that is initiated by Alibaba Cloud and Glue and Intel. It implements an enclave OCI runtime. Enclave is the Latin word of enclave. Enclave is the Latin word of enclave. Enclave, enclave container have three key components: shim, shim run e, and shim. On top of that, is an enclave runtime API. 
With that API, the enclave runtime like Oclam, Gravity can be integrated with enclave containers. Enclave runtime like, like Oclam is a libOS that the trust application will build on that. Recently, we approved by OCITOB, Enclave Container is now officially an OCI runtime implementation, just like Run C and the Cut Containers. This is the architecture of Enclave, Enclave Containers. Enclave Container can be integrated with Kubernetes and Doc similes. Let's take Kubernetes for example. Kubernetes will cause Kubelet. Kubelet will call the container D, and container D will interact with shim run E. Shim run E is a shim for enclave OC runtime. It implements shim runtime v2 API and works between container D and run E. Besides the atypical shim work, shim run E also conducting enclave signature and remote attestation. Shi, shi, shim run E and run E can compose a basic enclave, com, enclave container stack for the cloud native ecosystem. And shim run E will act, interact with run E. Run E is an enclave OCI container runtime which is responsible for loading and running protected application inside enclaves. The interface between run E and the enclave runtime is enclave runtime for API. With this API, that enclave runtime like libOS can be integrated with enclave containers. One typical, uh, one typical, uh, Enclave runtime implementation is based on libOS. Currently, the, def the default Enclave runtime of the run E is Oclam. Oclam is a memory safe multi process library OS for Intel SGX. In addition, you can write your own Enclave runtime with any program language and SDK, and as long as it implements Enclave Runtime for API. Enclave Runtime also support Kubernetes Runtime class features, which is for selecting Run E container runtime in Kubernetes and Docker by configuration. Enclave Container project kicked off in December last year and open source in this mail. It is first release V0.1. In this release, it implements OCI runtime called Run E and support Oclam. With collaboration from Intel, it support Intel SGX TE solution. The project had a monthly release since then. In October, it achieves a milestone of V0.5 release. In this release, it supported key management and include container orchestration by Kubernetes. Moving forward, in the next April, it will achieve another milestone, V1.0. In this release, it will have three key features. The first one is it will support virtual machine based TE solution like SIEM, Intel TDX. The second one is it will support Kubernetes cluster sign signature and attestation. And the third one is it will support TE language like uh, Wasama, SGX. Confidential computing, create a, create a trusted execution running time and enclave container 
build a container on top of that. To achieve a real enclave as a container, Ocrum will play a key role in this solution. The next, Hongliang will give us an introduction of Ocrum. Thanks, Yintong. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Hong Liang Tian. I will present the next section. So like other container runtimes, in clever containers relies on an OS to run programs. One such OS is Algorum, a multi-process enclave OS, especially suited for Intel SGS. Thanks to the enclave, the trusted apps inside the enclave are strongly isolated from whatever outside the enclave including the potentially malicious host OS, for example, Linux. As the host OS is, is untrusted, the apps inside the enclave cannot and should not use the host OS directly. This is why an enclave OS like Alcloom is needed. Alcloom provides the much needed system calls to the trusted apps. Alcloom implements most of the common OS functionalities like virtual memory management, process management, inter-process communication, file systems, network, etc. These functionalities are either implemented completely inside the enclave or partially dedicated to the, to the host OS without harming the security of the enclave. For example, file IO to the host OS is encrypted to prevent data leakage. Alcloom has four major features. The first one is easy to use. Alcloom enables a beginner to get started with confidential computer by just learning a few simple commands. With Alcloom, a user can, cannot port an enclave into enclaves, to port an app into enclaves without modifying its source code. This greatly re reduces the development cost of Adobe enclave te technologies. The second one is efficient multitasking. Alcloom offers lightweight process that have low st startup latency and efficient uh, inter-process inter -process communication. The third one is the support of various file systems, including encrypted file system, integrity protected file system, in-memory file system, host file system, etc. The fourth one is memory safety. Alcloom is the first and still the only enclave OS that is written in a memory safe program language like Rust. The memory safety means that a wide range of common security vulnerabilities like buffer overflow is eliminated for free. We believe the memory safety of Alcloom is important to enclave-based apps due to their nature of uh, being security crit critical. The Alcloom project was open sourced in March 2020. Uh, in March 2019, a companion research paper was published in March 2020 to report the novel aspect of this project. The project itself is being developed rapidly, releasing a new version each month. Last month, this project has reached an important milestone. We have contributed the project to the Confidential Computing Consortium, uh, or CCC, which is a Linux Foundation project and, and community to dedicate, uh, that, that, that is dedicated to confidential computing. By contributing the project to CCC, we believe Alcloom can benefit more users and gain more momentum to its development. Well, thanks, Hongliang. Now we have a demo from Tianjia. This demo will show us how to achieve enclave as container with enclave and Ocrum solution. Hello, everyone. I'm Tianjia Zhang. Let me show a demo for you. This demo shows the use of run in runtime to run a dog image on a web server. At first, Log into a machine with a basic environment. This demo consists of three steps. The first step is to build an Oculum image. First, and the doc image provided by Oculum project. Taking web server as an example. It will provide web server on port 8019. 
and uh, respond to JSON formatted data upon own requesting pin. Here is the server code implemented with Golang. Then compile it and generate binary file, build and run. The Occum image will be built before running. Okay, you can see the image build and run have been successful. The second step is to build the doc image. We output, uh, we output the Occum image and the raw material for building the doc image. This is the doc file. The content is very simple. Just uh, copy the Occlum image on a basic image and uh, set a corresponding entry point. Execute the doc build to build the doc image. The third step is to run newly built doc image and map port 8019 in Docker to the host. Here we run doc in the background. Use car to send the request. You can see the expected output. Okay, this is complete our web server in SGX. So simple, so amazing. Thanks. Well, thanks, JJ, for the great demo. Well, we have the uh, ambition to we have the ambition to bring computational computing into cloud ecosystem and simplify the development, deliver, and the management of trust application. But this is not an easy job. Uh, from this system architecture, we can see that a cloud native computational computing environment involves the whole system stack from the bottom TE solution of hardware to operating system and visualization, from the resource management of Kubernetes to container runtime, like in cloud containers, from the libOS, like Okra, to the runtime, like Dragonware. The cloud native computational computing interesting interest interest group in open analysis community hope to incube in cloud container Dragonware project, working with other open source community and industry to build a cloud native confidential computing ecosystem. We are in a cloud native era. We believe that uh, in cloud containers will play a key will be a key technology as a cloud native moving forward. We are at the beginning of this journey. And we are welcome to join us to make this mission moving fast and get real. Thank you. <laughs>